feel like this isn't high enough. Boom. And does anybody else do this on a spinning chair where you just spin? Oh god no, I shouldn't do that with the thing there. Hi guys, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, hi, I'm Emma and welcome to my little channel. So within the last week, I took to Instagram and Twitter to ask you guys to ask me some questions about literally anything. And I did get a few questions as a response. So today's video is going to be a September Q&A. If you don't follow me on either Instagram or Twitter, then they'll both pop up right here now or just click the links down below. If you'd ever want to be in a Q&A, then I advise that you follow both of those accounts just because that is where I will ask you guys for questions more frequently, so yeah. And also don't forget to add my Snapchat. My Snapchat is TwiddleFizz also because I have been posting on there a lot more. So if you'd like to see my answers to your questions, then let's get on with the video. The first question is from Pastel Diaries and it is, what is your favorite TV show as of current? And right now, I absolutely love Rick and Morty. There's not much on Netflix that I haven't watched. <laughs> so when I saw that came up, I was like, this seems like a really funny show, so I'm gonna watch it. And I really do like it. It's really funny and it's kind of like adult humor. So if you're a little bit younger, then I wouldn't advise it. But otherwise it is really funny and I just really like it. If you don't know what it's about, it's basically about this boy called Morty and his grandpa called Rick, who's like a scientist, but he's always drunk and yeah, they go on crazy adventures. So yeah, if you haven't watched it, then definitely watch it if you have Netflix. If not, it's really, really good, so you should get Netflix. You know? The next question is from Rose Gold Aesthetics and it is, what is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? And I have a lot of embarrassing stories, but off the top of my head, I can't think of any. See, there's a with me, I struggle with pronouncing some words. And I thought Kanye West was pronounced Kane and said that for a very long time. I thought Sean Paul was pronounced Seen. I know I'm not the only one with that. Um, and I was going around saying Seen Paul for a really long time. And I thought the word archived was pronounced archived for my whole life, <laughs> up until last week. So that's kind of embarrassing. Otherwise, one of my most embarrassing stories that's ever happened to me personally is probably when I went to the, um, I was gonna say eye doctor, when I went to the opticians uh, probably about three years ago and <laughs> I don't know if it's the same with every optician, but I go to Specsavers. And right at the end, they do like a color blind test. And it's like, what color is the dot or the word more clear on the red or the green screen? And my optician asked me that just like they would any normal, any normal customer. And I say blue. <laughs> she did not look very impressed. And this was honestly not me trying to be funny. It's just literally, I said blue and it was the first thing that came to my mind and my mum will not let me forget that and no one will let me forget it so that is probably the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> the next question is from Leisha at Leisha's Photography and she asked what advice would you give about school? Advice for school I would just say focus on yourself and your own study don't focus on other people's because otherwise you're off focus and you're off task and yeah, at the end of the day, you need your grades to be as best they can so you can get into college and yeah, I know grades don't really matter and I know people say that GCSEs don't matter. But at the same time, they do matter to get into college. The next step is where they're really important. After that, I'd say they're probably not that important, but I haven't got there yet, so I can't really say anything. But yeah, just basically keep focusing on your grades and focus on yourself. I'm sorry I keep twisting on this chair, it is really distracting. Just focus on yourself and focus on your grades because that is what you're at school for. And also, if you have any troubles, ask your teacher. I did not ask my teachers because I was socially awkward and I still am. But seriously, ask your teachers because at the end of the day, that is what they're there for. They're there to help you and they will give up their free time to help you as well. Alexandra Georgia asked, what is your biggest pet peeve and people eating with their mouths open? What are you doing? 
with your life. <laughs> I just, I my sister used to eat with her mouth open and it wasn't until probably the beginning of the year where I kept going on and on her like, Isabel, please eat with your mouth shut. Isabel, please shut your mouth when you're eating because it's disgusting. You can see the people's food in their mouth and you can hear it going around and it's like, no, thank you. <laughs> she also asked who are your favourite YouTubers and honestly, I haven't been watching YouTube as much as of recent, but when I have been, the YouTubers I have been watching are Kaylin Nicholson. Her videos are... That's a bit rude. Yeah, Kaylin Nicholson. Her videos are literally... Kaylin Nicholson, her, like, they're literally so well edited and just, I can't even. <laughs> My channel trailer was inspired by her, I'm not sure if anybody really watches her who watches me as well, but yeah, it was inspired by her. If you haven't seen it, then just click the card right up here, I think it's this side, I'm not sure. My other favourite YouTubers right now are Cyclist Now. She will probably be one of my favourites forever because her makeup skills just... Can we have a moment, please? <laughs> I've been subscribed to Soph for probably about three years now and watching her channel grow the way it has and just her skills as well and her as a person just make me really happy because she deserves that and so much more. And another YouTuber or like YouTube channel that I love watching is BuzzFeed Blue specifically the BuzzFeed Unsolved series. I absolutely love that series. I cannot get enough of it and just, and they're in the process of making a new one right now. So that's really good. <laughs> the next question is from, I'm gonna try and pronounce this. I'm sorry if I absolutely butcher it, but it is from everything Ianu, Ianu, I'm, I'm, I, I can't see what I mean about the Sean Paul and the scene Paul thing. This is what I'm talking about. But she asked, what is your favourite clothing item you own? And my favourite clothing item I own is probably... See, I can't pick between all my clothes. If you watch my back to school lookbook, it'd probably be the white jumper that is in that. Um, the leggings that are in that because they're high waisted and they have a band around them and I can fit my phone in it. So when you have no pockets, it still works. <laughs> and my ripped jeans, they're probably like my top three favourite items of clothing. I absolutely love them, so yeah, and most of them are from Primark or New Look, so yeah, got you back. She also asked, why did you start YouTube? And I honestly can't remember why I did start YouTube because my first channel I created all the way back in like 2012, which was right when I started high school, if not as I was going into high school. So that's a really long time ago. I think it was because the first channel I ever created was inspired by Be Back. So if you don't know or used to watch them, they were hairstylists and they did like all the really cool hairstyles and I wanted a little bit of that. So I tried that and it didn't really work out. I was like 11 and I didn't know what I was doing. But now I just do it because it's something fun and creative and there's so many different aspects to YouTube and you can just make it whatever you want to make it and also, seeing and meeting all the people through it is just something that makes me really happy. I've made so many internet friends through doing YouTube. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to leave a thumbs up as that will help me out so much. <laughs> if you want to see more of my face, then don't forget to subscribe to my vlogging channel, which is More Emma. I will leave a link to it down below so you can just do that or press the card that is right here. Leave a comment down below if I didn't answer your questions and I will follow you on Instagram or Twitter. While you're there don't forget to subscribe, the button is right down here and it would mean so much. We are so close to half 1k and I'm honestly like, I will probably cry when we hit it. But that was it from me guys and I will see you all next week with a brand new video. Bye!